That was the wrong audio file. Also, my... Hold on. My camera's in the wrong direction. Oh. Oh. That would've... That... Uh, hmm. One second. One second. One second. Just gonna reboot this for a quick second. Gonna hide that for a real second. Hello? Hello? Ah! Hey, look at the fit! Look at the new fit! Oh. Look at the new fit! I also made my horns a little less, uh, gray-gray, so that's nice. Fit. It only cost me an arm and a leg to get. Look at that. Woo! Look at this. Wait, hold on. Can I... It's a nice turnaround, eh? <laughs> hey, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, and then we put you up. And maybe just a little bit more. And then we test you around. Let's go. Okay. One second. Let's boot up Dragon Age. Uh. Yeah. Ah, my ears. Oh. Let's remove this. There we go. There we go. Full view. It really does get on my chin, doesn't it? My neck is barely visible. Look at how this. <laughs> I haven't had it cloak like this in a bit. I feel like I might remove some bits of this cloak, though, because, like, it just keeps bobbing. Look at it. Look at this. This is so stupid. Anyways. 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 We'll keep the cloak on for today. I, I'd actually have to pop it into Theroid and Unity just to fix it. So I'm not going to do that. But I got the hair like Theron. So that's good to see. All right. Oh, I didn't check for any guides. Hold on. Can I get my iPad? I'm going to get my iPad real quick. I'm gonna get my iPad real quick. Oh. Alright. I also think I fixed my mic. I was checking over my footage from yesterday and I was noticing it kept peeking in weird places. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, alright. Okay. And then... Oop. And then... Oop. I have an iPad stand that actually works for once. Or actually, I could put this over here. I probably should have done this before stream, but who gives a shit? Ah, ah. Okay. And then... Uh... Oh god, I have so many tabs open. Close all of them. And then Dragon Age build... Or... Origins builds... Companion builds. Yes. Yeah. And then I also want to find best rogue build Dragon Age Origins. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Except. Well, no, I want a step by step guide though. Uh... The sorry game depends on Xerian strength, however, when you get... 
lethality. My suggestions go 18 strength. Alright, so it will take priority in low levels and then cunning. Improved tools will in lethality. Mm. Rogue assassin build. Hmm. Hmm. Well, uh, companion guide, Alistair, gifts. Um, that's not build guide though. I, I want. I need step by step guides. Oh my god. There. Alistair Thrin. Uh huh. Okay. Um. But I want to no, know, no. God fucking hell. Um, Alistair. This, uh, wait, let's see here. Uh, what do we call these things? Talent. Build. The year. Uh, talents. Let's go. Um, okay. So we want shield defense. I can change the order of how I did this some other time. And then skills. Do this one. Or. Yes. Next. Oh. Um, attributes. 42 strength. Zero D twenty six. Hmm. Let's just split it up between dexterity and cunning. Next. Play. Are you not? Is that not it? What else do I need? Oh, this. Wait. And then what else? Shield pummel. Right. Shield defense. Okay. Play. Okay. And then I don't think I can. Hold on. Let's do this. Custom. Defender. Morgan. Damager. Yes. Fantastic. We'll be defensive. Alice there. Um, okay. There we go. Alright, time to go. Oop. Yes, let us go. Let us go. Ah, fuck. 
<laughs> All right, what direction? We're going to Lothering. Where is Redcliffe? Mage Tower. Oh, wait, no. What's this? Okay, so that's Redcliffe. This is to... Wait, no. This is to... Wait. So I guess we're just going this way then. We gotta do the Brazilian outskirts later. Okay. Right. Let us go. Oh. I forgot. I forgot about this. Aha. Oh. I'll oh, shut up. Dinner room. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent, and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Bannorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. And that includes the king. <laughs> Van Tegan, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Van Tegan, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your majesty? I mean... That boy was gonna get himself killed anyways. Second, this has been bothering me. <laughs> Anyways, oh, bye -bye. <laughs> I'm moving. I'm moving. Hey, 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 hey! Chill out. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Get the fuck away from the dog, bitch! Puppy! Puppy, hello! Hello! Yes, did they hurt you, baby boy? I think he was out there looking for you. He's... chosen you. Ah. Mabari are like that. They call it imprinting. Does this mean we're going to have this mangy beast following us about now? Wonderful. Morgan. He's not mangy. He's a baby. If you like him, you can have him. He can come. But wow. He can make us. I've always wanted a donkey. <laughs> baby. <gasps> um. But 
was it? There was like a ah, uh, what's that popular name that they had for the dog? I, oh, oh. <laughs> Bugs run, my baby boy. Hello. <gasps> Look at you covered in blood. Pet the boy. Yes, baby. Just you only get the bones of your enemies. Aha! Okay. On. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this one and that one. This one. Ooh. Concentrated death. What do you wish of me? Uh, never mind. I didn't mean to click on you, if I'm being honest. I did. Mm. <laughs> you get up, you. You get up, you go. Aha! Yes. Hello, baby. All right, uh, let's see here. Oh, you know what? We'll do it in, uh, wait, no. I think I do have armor for him. One second. Do I have armor for you? Yes. Yes. The sugar boy. The sugar boy. Okay. Time to go. I forgot. Yeah, this is where we get bark spawn. Yes. Let us go to Lothring. Ah, oh, fuck. Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. <laughs> Led by an elf, of all things. Uh, they don't look much like their mothers. You know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the Darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now, is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. We sh you should listen to your buddy. We we're kind of... well. What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks odd. Hey, he has a good head the on his shoulders. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got to pay. Uh-huh. I'm not paying, dude. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. Hmm. I don't think... Well, do we know... Yeah, we don't know that they're after us, so... We'll do this. Did he say he's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the king. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Turn Logain put quite a bounty on any who are found. But... Are them Grey Wardens good? Yeah! I mean, I like really this guy. good? Good enough to kill a king? Oh. You have a point. Well, let's forget about the toll. We'll just leave you to your darkspawn fighting, king killing ways. <laughs> Let's add bandit sling. Um. Hmm? You don't say. They is really good, boss. Remember? Well, yes. 20 silvers? That's all we've collected today. I've changed my mind. The next one's going to be. Uh, do enjoy your stay in Lothering and all that. Ah, uh oh. I'll take that. Um. Can we still attack him? Hmm. <laughs> it's fine. Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah. So, you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. What did you want? You've been very quiet. Leave him alone. What did you want to talk about, Alistair? 
You have been very quiet. Yes, I know. I was just thinking. No wonder it took so long, then. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. Um... Uh, I'll figure it out. Let's get going. We should try and use these treaties. We need to hear some news before we decide. But we need to decide what our general plan is for afterwards, don't we? We I do. I think what Flemeth suggested is the best idea. These treaties, have you looked at them? Allegedly. But yes. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Hmm. I feel like... Hmm. Because Meta Gaming Me wants to go to the Dwarves first so that the Circle of Magi stuff is easier and then the Sage of Magi stuff makes the Red Cliff stuff a lot easier too. Uh, is there a way to contact the Ray Wardens? Why are you leaving it up to me? That's a good question. Well, I don't know where we should go. I'll do whatever you decide. Now that is unsurprising. Arleman is a good man, but I don't know for sure he's where we should go. I'm not going to fight about it. Where do you think we should go, Borrigan? Go after your enemy directly. <laughs> Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming, and it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion, and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. Fair, fair, fair. How have we considered the dwarves? <laughs> um, is there a way to contact the Grey Wardens? Short of leaving Ferelden to seek them out, the only place to send word to would be Weisalpt Fortress. And that's thousands of miles away. A little bit more than... A thousand, I think. It's literally the entire continent away, but you know what? I don't know shit. Mm. Uh, we need to find these people. I can give you directions if you like. My clan has already fled north. We won't find them. There must be other Dalish in Ferelden. In fact, I'm sure of it. If we head eastward towards the Brazilian forest, we should hear word of one of the clans that wanders that area. Hopefully, they will still be there. Hmm. Perhaps. Where would we find the dwarves? We would need to speak to their king in Orzammar. That means heading west into the Frostback Mountains, which won't be easy. And then Circle of Magi? That would be at their tower on Lake Kalenhard to the north. We'll be looking for the first enchanter, whoever that is. And then where would Loghain be? If he isn't out in the field with his army, he's probably going to be at the palace in Denerim. We can go to Denerim, but somehow I suspect that they're not going to let us just walk around. Only a suspicion, of course. And you know where our Eamon is, so... Then you have a plan. Um... I'm ready to get Fair going. Enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. Alrighty. I feel like we should go. Hi, kid. I'm scared. When are we going home? Oh. Uh, da, da, da. We're just stealing from everyone here. Just how smart are Mabari supposed to be? Anyway, do you think Aunt may understand everything we say? Huh. Oh, is that so? You could just be listening to the tone of my voice. You could be an utter moron for all we know. <laughs> hey, 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 now! <laughs> There's nothing saying that a moron can't be cute and adorable. Who's the cute and adorable puppy? Need something? I don't generally talk to strange elves who wander in here. I didn't wander anywhere, thank you. You still look like trouble. We got plenty of that with the war now. I have questions. Can't promise I'm gonna answer them. 
bandits outside the village. Best thing that's happened to Lothering. Bandits will keep the rabble out if Sir Bryant and his lot won't. Okay, I'm leaving. Don't let me stop you. Fucking prick. You there. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you. There's none to be found. <laughs> I forgot about this. Yeah. Is that you? Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. Uh -huh. Um, do you know what the bandits also? Thieves prey on the unfortunate whenever they get the chance. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The chantry and tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'd be better off elsewhere, my friend. Thanks for the warning. Best of luck wherever you might go. Um, well... It's just a guess, but I'm thinking everyone in Lothering is aware of the approaching Darkspawn Horde. No shit. Little boy. As you wish. Yeah, we're not really gonna do any of these side quests. I don't want to stay here for too long. Gonna pick up our companions and leave. Back oh. off. I have the what right to this? charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Um... Is your prophet hearing ruffling fetters? <laughs> you could say that, yes. The nerve of these people! He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets! Can I murder him? His only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. Uh. Uh, don't you think you're, uh, not even... Yeah, you're being stupid. Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate. And this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. Mm, I think you can compromise and still make a profit. I want to intimidate him. Maker's breath. Sometimes it's truly not worth operating this far south. Hey. Just charge what you would have before this tragedy. Fine, yes. Just stop complaining. You're giving me a headache. So, we have come to solve every squabble in the village personally. Hmm? My, but the Darkspawn will be impressed. Thank you for your generous assistance. May the Maker watch over your path. Sorry, Morgan. I'll get you a gift later. Right from under you, you fuckhead. Uh, I, I, let's see. Bandits, bandits everywhere. Yeah, closer. Nah. Hello? If you seek refuge in the Chantry, there's simply no room left. Uh, then I shall go. Make her watch over you. Well, I'm still going inside, so... Um, do I have a quest in here, actually? Lothering... There's 
word of Darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. We are the only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon them. That is all. May the Maker have mercy on us. All right. Hello, Sir Brian. Yes. Who might you be? I'm just chilling. Uh, nobody. Uh, nobody of a uh, part of me. Didn't mean to interrupt. It is no trouble. Ah. Make her watch over you. I still wanted to talk to you. Oh. <laughs> yes. Who might you be? Uh. Nobody of importance. I am Sir Bryant, commander of Lothering's remaining Templars. You don't seem like the other refugees. Are you one of Arl Eamon's knights? Um... Too many of his knights come Some here. Some have in recent days. Arl Eamon has fallen ill, and his knights are on a quest for the sacred urn filled with Andraste's ashes, said to cure any malady. He must be very ill if they chase miracles as the only cure. One of the Arl's knights, Sir Donal, is here searching for fantasies while... Never mind. Ask him if you care about this foolishness. Ah. Um, about the bandits outside. Maker's breath. How many times must we drive them off? Um, they're still here, last I saw. I could do that if you like. No need. I will have it dealt with. Again. Safaral, those fool bandits have returned. Take some men and drive them off and see if you can't capture that leader of theirs this time. As you command, Sir Bryant. Alrighty. Now, unless there's something else you need. Um... Uh, I need some information. If the matter is important, certainly. Have you heard any news? Other than the Darkspawn Horde bearing down on us, none of it is good. Teon Loghain is set to declare himself king, I hear. Disaster piled on disaster. The king had no chosen heir? None that we know of. Teon Loghain has no legitimate claim on the throne. He may be a hero, and his daughter may be queen, but he is a commoner, and the king's corpse is barely cold. If Arl Eamon was able to intervene, perhaps it would not have gone this far. I do not care who takes the throne. Only fools fight over who owns a cottage while it burns down <laughs> around them. I like this guy. Um, I should go. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. All right. And you. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. So you're here looking for the Urn of Sacred Ashes, then? I am indeed. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. Um... Well, um, shouldn't you be... Uh, your quest brought you ashes here. I was hoping to meet Eamon. Why is that, if I may ask? We need his help again, Loghain. I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Tern Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Tern has done or not done, the Arl remains ill or worse. That is my primary concern. Is there any, po is there any point to going to Redcliffe? He may be dead already. Or perhaps his luck has changed in the weeks I have been gone. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesser is there, and she could tell you more than I could. Um, shouldn't you be fleeing the dark spawn? Hmm, tell me more about this. Um, your quest for the ashes brought you I here. I expected to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact, but my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. Tell me more about the Urn of Sacred Ashes. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the Prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. I... I mean... Yeah, I'm... Da, da, I'm Dalish. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Lore? Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. I intend to return to Redcliffe soon and tell the Arlesa exactly that once Sir Henrik arrives. Hmm. 
Yeah, about him. He's kind of dead. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. A reward? Well, sorry about your friend. Yeah, some bandits killed him outside. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. Um, I should go. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. Hmm. And when the Maker spoke, a chant of light scattered in the darkness. Word Do you ever wonder if that's an accurate likeness of Andraste? Maybe she was ugly. Maybe she had but teeth. How do we know? Let those who have sinned be forgiven. Let him hear our unwavering faith. Let him hear our righteous dedication and enduring perseverance. And then oh. shall the Maker return to us. And then shall the Maker return to the Black City in heaven. You mean in the Fade. You mean the Black City in the Fade, right? Uh-huh. So anyways. Um, let's see here. Let's see I'm here. Cold. I don't like this. I don't like it either, Ted. <laughs> Sorry, kid. I don't know you who you really are. You know what's going on here? The blight, the civil war. I really wonder how much of it you understand. Me? You're talking to me? Boy? Okay. We're all special. Big parts to play. Even you. Especially you in some ways. So let's talk about your mother for a moment. Ha! Huh. I'd rather talk about your mother. Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of the forest? Much more interesting. For you, perhaps, you would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. You know what's more interesting than that? Apostates. Mages outside of the tower. That's illegal, you know. <laughs> You did not read that in a book somewhere, did you? I hope the small letters did not strain you over much. Oh, we could not talk about your mother. That works for me. You're the one who started with the your mom jokes, man. Don't look at me. Let's get started. I believe this is it. Wells. Okay. New region. Isn't that a good thing? I heard that he. Well, look what we have here, then. I think we've just been blessed. Hello. Uh oh, Logan's men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about an elf by this very description, and everyone said they hadn't seen one? It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Bruh, leave her alone. I don't need your help, miss. Please stand back. Yeah, like, ma'am, respectfully, this isn't your fight. You don't need my protection, but these men will blindly follow their master's command even unto death. I am not the blind one. <laughs> I served at Ostagar, where the turn saved us from the Grey Warden's treachery. What treachery? They all gladly. died. Enough talk. Take the Warden into custody. Kill the sister and Bitch. anyone else that gets in your way. Right. Let's make this quick. Bro. Chill the fuck out. Right. <laughs> this is <sister's laughs> <laughs> This bitch has a fucking knife! Oh, oh. Hi. Alright, you've won. We surrender. Good. They've learned their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. They're all covered in blood. Uh, 
I don't want them reporting to Legane. Please wait! They have surrendered. They were no match for you. Let them be. <sighs> Take a message to Legane then. W what do you want to tell him? You'll have to do better than this. The Grey Wardens fucking died, bitch. I'll tell him right away now. Thank you. Very well. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. It's all right. I was having, I was having to take you. <laughs> so I see. Where does it? Yeah. Where do you learn how to fight, ma'am? I wasn't born in the Chantry, you know. Many of us had more colorful lives before we joined. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana. One of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. Um. Smooth talker. A pleasure, ma'am. They said you were a Grey Warden. I'm surprised you're an elf. But elves must want the Blight defeated as much as humans, no? I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. Uh, I'm... Why are you so eager? The maker told me to. The maker's on my side. Um. Can you elaborate? I, I know that sounds absolutely insane, but it's true. I had a dream, a vision. More crazy? I thought we were all full up. Look at the people here. They are lost in their despair. And this darkness, this chaos, will spread. The Maker doesn't want this. What you do, what you are meant to do, is the Maker's work. Let me help. <clears throat> I mean... Hey, I'm not gonna turn away help when you help me smack some guys around. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. I love you. Uh, oh, Alistair. Indeed. Wait. Yes. Indeed. And exit. I kind of don't want um, damnation. damnation. I kind of don't want Morgan's snippy ripness right now. Alright. Or oh, actually, hold on. Do I not have the extra dog slot? Indeed. Oh, there he is. There he is. Yay! I have all of them. He's right here. Maybe. Okay. We have the whole gang here. Did you speak to that knight yesterday? Said he was from Redcliffe. He talked to everyone in the tavern. How are we supposed to know where the urn of sacred ashes is? Might as well ask us how to get to the moon. Okay. Actually, hold on. One second. Um... Should I do the Blackstone stuff? As I live and breathe, you're the Grey Warden everyone's been talking about. I must be going. <laughs> Is there anything I can do? I represent the Blackstone Irregulars. We're a mercenary company that fell on hard times after the war with Orlais. I'm sure you know that times are getting worse every day. With your help, the Irregulars could be of use to Ferelden once more. Hmm. How can I be a service? Our leaders thought you might be willing to help. Each of our posts in Ferelden will contain letters addressed to you. Unlike most who work with us, you're getting letters straight from Railnor and Tauran, our leaders. I hope this tells you how highly the Irregulars regard the Grey Wardens. Oh, um, look. Thank you. When you've completed a mission, just return to me or any of our members stationed at an Irregulars post. We'll make sure your efforts are rewarded. Make us blessings light your path. Mm. Uh, Lothering, Redcliffe, Denerum. Except. Callan had Denerum, Frostback Mountains. Okay. Mm. 
Alright. I don't think anything he has is important. Um... Let's not steal from the cook. Alright. And then we're gonna find Sten. And I think... Hmm. I've got a cousin in the Templars. He says the mages in the tower out on Lake Kalanhard are all turning into demons. They always say that, though. This time it's true. They're not sure what to do about it yet, he says. What's to do? So tell me something, Morrigan. Did you live there in that forest your entire life? Are you here to make my headache, or do you actually want to buy something? I want to sell something. It isn't much, but take a look if you want. I don't think anyone uses a cross. Uh, let's just save them just in case. Uh, let's see here. Um, I'll just sell this. Studded. I only really need one of these. Are you here to make my headache, or do you actually want to buy something? I want to be a headache. Mission accomplished. I hope you're happy. Extremely. Anyways, um, where's then? Where is my boy? Where is my big boy? How dare you accuse me of thievery? I saw you take the supplies from my car. Your grassland eyes are inept. A chase end would never stoop to petty theft. You marsh folk are all thieves and lies! Enough! Shocky People here are well. already Mara desperate to strike! Oh. Abana kyun, maras shokra, anan nesam kyun. You want one of my captors? I have nothing to say that would amuse you, elf. Leave me in peace. Uh... You're a prisoner. Who put you in here? I'm in a cage, am I not? Mm -hmm. I've been placed here by the Chantry. The revered mother said he slaughtered an entire family, even the children. It oh, is Jesus. as she says. Okay. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. 
And what are you doing at Kunari? If you haven't heard of us, that is your own shortcoming. Is Though it? it matters little now, I will die soon enough. This is a proud and powerful creature, trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for Mercy's sake alone. Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. I would also suggest that Alistair take his place in the cage. <laughs> yes, that's what I would have expected. I suggest you leave me to my fate. But don't you want to join us, Chucklebox? I need, I need some skilled help. No doubt. What help do you seek? Um... Sworn to defend the land against the Blight. The Blight? Are you a Grey Warden then? Yes. Surprising. My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Though I suppose not every legend is true. Would the, would the Reverend let you free? Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance. It seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. Fair enough. Farewell then. To be left here to starve? Or to be taken by the Darkspawn? No one deserves that. Not even a murderer. Let's not bring Morgan for this. Last and damnation of all the... Indeed. All right. Save game here. Stan! Hello. Good day, Sister Liliana. I'm surprised to see you're still in Lothering. It is good to see you as well, Your Reverence. I do not recognize your companion. Greetings. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry? Our need has never been greater. Uh, 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 tithe is acceptable. Might I suggest 30 silver? Hey, uh, sorry. I, I have nothing to offer. I understand. Not all are wealthy enough to spare even a few coins for the Maker's favor. What can I do for you, then? Anyways, uh, I need your help. A Grey Warden? Here? Oh, dear. You put me in a difficult position. You must know that Tern Loghain declared the Grey Wardens to be outlaws. I don't give a shit. What do I care for Loghain's lies? The Tern claims that the Grey Wardens are responsible for the King's death. Bro. There is a price on your head. Lay low and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else... No, you could do me one better. I need to talk about the Canari. It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? I want him freed. We might have use of him. Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. I've come to return him to his people. I mean... I could. That seems highly unlikely. Do you have any sort of papers to corroborate your story? I'm a Grey Warden, in need of aid against the Darkspun. A Grey Warden? Oh dear, I will have to ask you to leave before you bring trouble on our heads. Listen, I just... Oh, cool. oh wow, I didn't read that last part. I was like, yeah, I won't argue, I just need the cage. Or die! Um, let me take the Kunari and fight the Darkspun. To defend against the Blight? Perhaps that is a form of atonement. But are you certain you can control him? If not, I will kill him from salt. If you per if you prefer, I could do right of conscription. I... No, I cannot. There will be too much trouble for us if we are seen cooperating with you. Um... Uh, the Darkspawn... Or the real enemy here. The Maker cares no less for that Canari's victims than for the thousands who fell in Ostagar. 
Now, good day. Ma'am. Yes. What can I do for you now? Can you provide any help to the Grey Warrens at all? I help you without risking the safety of this village enchantry. The best I can do is keep your presence a secret. I am sorry. Now, if there is nothing else... Please, well, I just want the Canari. For a Grey Warden? Yes, you have a difficult road to walk, don't you? Uh, In Andraste's name, I call upon the Maker to watch over his child and creation. Watch over his path, O Maker. Give him light in darkness. So let it be. Now, if there is nothing else... Please let Sten go. Again? We have already discussed this, and I told you I would not release the creature. What if this incident costs... Uh, what if his people come for him? The Maker demands justice, regardless of his race. Will you consider your stance? And what do you say on this, Liliana? You know your friend better than I. These are unusual times, Your Reverence. With us, the Kunari might do some good. I am sure of it, in fact. Were things not so desperate? Oh, thank God. Very well, I trust you. Take these keys to his cage and make her watch over you. Thank you, Your Reverence. Your trust is not misplaced. Let's go. Okay. Whee! Out the door. Out the door. Run. Run away from the chantry. Ah! So I just got blessed by a chantry sister. That was not intentional whatsoever. Oh. Legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at darkspawn hands. There, one of their minions is already amongst us. This man bears their evil stench. Can you not see the vile blackness that fills him? I... No one is gonna... Sh I know... I know what I intend to. Yeah, like... Like, I... Chill. Darkspawn will feast on our flesh! Everyone will die! Right, okay, so anyways. On. Alright. So let's get Sten and we're You're on our way out of here. Some dog. I think that every time I look at you. <laughs> Lady Cecily, I lived with her after my mother died. Had a dog. A small one bred to fit under the arm and in the lap. What did you name it? Oh yes. Bonbon. Bon bon. Oh, Bonbon bon was a terror. He would hide, you know, when he saw you coming. And then he would attack your ankles. Rather sharp teeth in the ankles. Very painful. He attacked me once. Latched onto my leg. I thought it was a diseased rat and kicked. Bonbon bon flew across the room and over the baluster. He survived. But he never came near me after that. Elian, you just admitted to kicking a dog. You wish something more of me. Um, I have the key. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. You agreed to release you into my custody. So be it. Set me free, and I will follow you against the blight. Let's go. And if I choose to do something, uh, wow. There you go. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. Let's go. Guess that will do. Thank you, Stein. Glad to have you with us. 
And if you know him, you know Quow. Thank you, Sen. Glad to have you with us. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. Yes. Yes. He's so tall. So anyways, um, where are we going? Uh... How do we get out of here? I guess we could go this direction. We're just gonna go the other direction. Yes, this way is a... Oh, fuck. I just realized Den does not have anything. Um... I don't even have a weapon for you, big guy, so we're just gonna give you a bow and pray to God that it helps. Uh, yeah. Some elf food for my troubles. On. Let's get started. Oh wait, I forgot my tactics. Leave us alone. This should be easy enough. Get back, Sandals. Don't let us oh Jesus! I just realized this thing wasn't connected. Why is it not connected? One second. Ah. Oh. Ah. Okay. We're back in business. Mighty oh. timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. You're welcome. The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Samuel. Say hello, my boy. You know. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Uh, a bit complicated, but you're welcome to come along. Complicated? <laughs> Somehow I imagine that only says a half of it. Thank you for the offer. There may be more excitement on your path than is good for my boy and me. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? Put the weapons away. Chill out. Um, I don't know why it's demonic, Erker. Okay. Well, before I forget, uh, Alistair Defender Custom 1 Archer. Ranged. 
Defender. Aggressive. This should be easy enough. Dreams, huh? Uh, I think I ate something. Drank more like, as in the tainted blood, remember? Jesus. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. What are these dreams? Why didn't Duncan just tell everyone that? He did. He said he felt the Archdemon's presence. Everyone just assumed he was guessing. Uh -huh. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Any surprises? Other than dying young and the whole defeat the blight alone thing? No, I'm all tapped out for surprises. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. One second. My thing keeps disconnected. That's an unfortunate place to pause. But not charging. I think it's charging. It's charging. I don't know why. Hold on. Allow. Then why is it not charging? Oh, is this one even get us? Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. Are we charging now? Okay, I'm going to assume it's charging now. Alright. Resume game. We only have, like, less than an hour, so let's see here. Woo! I think we will go to the dwarves first. Or you know what? Let's spend the rest of this time just talking. Let's not talk to Levi. But, oh, ah, shit. It's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fennec, at your service, once no. again. I saw your camp and remember the kind offer that you made the last time we met. And is there anywhere safer for a poor merchant and his son to sleep? I think not. I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Sounds Good? amazing. Yes? Free to say, just... Uh, just... Show me your I'm wish. sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Don't have the gold for that. Okay, let's see what's under junk. One second. Um, junk. Uh, what is it? Also, do you guys have the... Hmm. Uh, 
Dragon Age Origins. Items. Let's see here. List of sellable items. Dragon Age Origin. Um. And I also need to use the restroom, so I'm going to be right back, guys. I'll be right back.
Hello? I'm back. Alright. Okay, let's talk with the companions. I think that might be it for Hello. today. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was it now? A savant. <laughs> I had no idea such a thing existed. Um... Well, what enchantments does he do? He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. Though naturally, some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And there you have it. Well, I'll see it. Enchantment! Ah. Uh. Hmm, probably not yet. Okay. Let's talk to everyone here. Hello. What do you need? Um, do you want to talk about Duncan? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. That doesn't mean I don't mourn. Uh, he was a father. I understand. Could I <laughs> thought you might need to talk. I... I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it, not when so much is riding on us, not with the blight and... and everything. I'm sorry. Let's forget about it. Just a let... Bart, please. There's no harm done. I'd like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. What about other Grey Wardens? I don't know. I have no idea what the Grey Wardens do for them when they fall in battle. The Dalis don't practice cremation, do they? How do your people honor your dead? We bury them and plant a tree. That sounds quite beautiful. Life springing from death. Thank you. Really, I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little. It was a friend of mine too. Yes, don't tell anyone. I'll go to Ira with you when you go. Mm, yeah. I'd like that. So would he, I think. Okay. Leliana. Yes? I'd like to talk. Well? Here I am. This vision of yours. I knew this would come up sooner or later. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on the peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I... I fell. And the darkness drew me in. You dreamed of the blight. I suppose I did. That was what the darkness was, no? When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rose bush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw. But there it was. A single, beautiful rose. It was as though the Maker stretched out his hand to say, even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. <laughs> and, and this made you want to help. In my dream, I fell. Or, or maybe I jumped. I'd do anything to stop the blight. I know that we can do it. There are so many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the blight devours everything? I mean... I didn't sit by either. That is why you're a Grey Warden. Come, there's a blight to stop. Okay. And then, uh, one second. Let me restart my app, because it seems to be shaking a bit. I never know why it does that. Uh, here we go. No. This? Wait. This? Yes.
Why is my neck broken? Why, why is my neck broken? Hold on. Why is my neck broken? Hold on. Okay, but why is my neck broken though? Why, why am I looking down? Why is my neck broken? <laughs> I'm restarting this. Hold on. Hello, I'm back. I'm back in the chair. All right. It's dead. Why are we stopping? We're working together. I think I should get to know you. There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? I mean, I need to know if you can... You're all right. You were in a cage for weeks. You are concerned. No need. I am fit enough to fight. Uh, you said you were in army. I am. Um... Why would Kunari send soldiers here? The Antam are the eyes, hands, and mouth of the Kunari. We are how my people know the world. Hmm... I suppose. Um... Doesn't that make your view of things skewed? You didn't really answer my question. Is that... Compared to what? You might learn more about people if you weren't hostile. What does anyone truly know of the world? The world changes. We change. The Antam observe what we can, just as you do. There is no point to this. We are keeping the Darkspawn waiting. What's your hurry? What a strange language you speak. You say hurry, where I would say duty. It's not your duty to... It's not your duty to handle the blight, though. No, it is yours, and you are chatting with me instead. You should get moving. As you wish. I... Oops. Well... We'll work on that. Uh, Morgan? What do you wish of me? Um, uh, I'd like to ask you something. If you must. Um, uh, have you ever been hunted by the Chantry? <laughs> you are very cute to ask so many questions. I only asked one. And you're cute when you're evasive. Really? Perhaps we should be wrapped in ribbons and adorned with flowers. So cute are we, too. <laughs> ah. My mother has been hunted from time to time, yes. By Templar fools like Alistair, which should tell you how successful they generally were. Flemeth made a bit of a game of it, in fact. The Templars would come again, and she would look at me and smile and say that the fun was to begin once more. I feel sorry for the Templars. They came with as much swagger and arrogance as they did self-righteousness. Pity them if you wish, for they held none for us. Hmm. Flemeth would warn them once. It was a warning they inevitably failed to heed. And then the true game began. Often Flemeth would use me as bait. <laughs> a little girl to scream and run and lure the Templars deeper into the wilds and to their doom. Did you actually kill them all? Me? No, I never did any of the killing, until later. And even then, Flemeth was a glutton for that sort of thing. Ah! Thankfully, the wilds is a vast place. Once they found us, Flemeth would simply move us elsewhere, and we would be lost within the forest once again. I did not understand the danger we faced until I was much older. I had never heard of apostates or maleficarum. Hmm... They got what they deserved. Perhaps they did. Still, I do not begrudge them doing what they believe is necessary. The Chantry sees any mages not leashed to the Circle of Magi as apostates. And apostates could become Maleficarum, evil mages that resort to blood magic and become demon-enslaved abominations. It may even be true. Still, those of us who prefer freedom see no reason to submit.
Have you, uh, if I were a mage, I'd think the same. Thank you for small favors, then, at the very least. Enough of this talk. Let us return to the task at hand. Fair enough. We'll have a chat later. Dad, I'm sorry. Um... Okay. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. Um... Can I see your I'm words? sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy <laughs> and I have collected. And with your discount. Da, 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 da. Let's... Sell... Ooh. Uh, gift, gift, bracelet, gift. We don't need the malachite. Oh, we do need malachite. Okay. Well, floor spar. Do need garnet quartz. We do need. No, we don't need quartz. Don't need greenstone. Here. Okay. We'll talk to this guy later. I know that's a DLC. Um, yeah, well, we'll do it now. You're a hard man to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. Levy. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins? Levy the trader? Uh... Duncan never mentioned really? you. He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. <laughs> but here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, at that. What I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. Uh... What promise did he make? My family... Well, past a bit checkered, to see. Nobles look at us with disdain. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last warden commander of Ferelden back when the wardens were known as freeloaders. Ah. So King Olin banished the wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. I see. What happened next? Hard to say. After King Olin died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one. And our family was on the run, hunted by enemies, with nary a friend in the world. But Dryden's are tough. We rebuilt, became merchants, and we never lost our pride. <laughs> Um, so what favor did you ask Duncan? Ask for the truth. My family reveres Sophia Dryden. We know she died at the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. We want evidence to clear her name. It won't restore our land or our titles, but it'll restore our honor. Never heard of Soldier's Peak. Well, no one's been to Soldier's Peak since Ireland's days. At least none that's come back. Huh. I spent years mapping the maze of tunnels to the peak. And I found the way a few years back. So I went to Duncan, I did. And I said that he could reclaim the old base and my family could have its honor. Uh, what do you need from me? I can pick my way through the tunnels at the base of Soldier's Peak. But the place, what do they say, it's haunted. And it'll be dangerous for certain. Will you think on it at least? Uh... I'll think about it. Um, I'll think about it. Okay. Okay, where is that though? Cellian. Callan had docks. Well, it doesn't show up. Okay, so should we go to Redcliffe or should we go to Frostback Mountains? Hmm. Let's ask Alistair, actually. What do you need? I'll ask you something. Ask away. 
Uh, mm, never mind. Puppy? Puppy? Oh, why you little? Did you just jump the side of your own shadow again? Oh, you're so funny. Such rapier wit. Ha! Your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. Good boy. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. It will. Bubby. Okay. Well. Yeah, let's just give Bubby a I little... I once oh. heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. <laughs> well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. <laughs> Bubby! Oh, like you can tell the difference. For all you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone... Don't scare my boy! If you had it and didn't know, it'd probably be never feed you another human being. It's full of rubbish. It's not cannibalism if he's eating it, you know. Ah! Leave my boy alone, Jesus Christ. Okay. If that's the case, I'm just gonna... Uh, Let's go to Redcliffe. Yes. Indeed. Sure. Indeed. I don't really have stuff for stuns, so we're just gonna go with this. Uh, let's go to Redcliffe. Are we gonna fight? Is there gonna be a fight? Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. Uh-huh. Let me guess, you're an idiot. Yes, that's right. I stopped you to tell you that I'm an idiot. Whew. Thank the maker you know already. Now I can stop worrying, I'll be found out. It wasn't exactly a secret. Oh, ho, ho. I'm trying to be serious here. Just listen. Uh, well, uh, let's see. How do I tell you this? We're almost at Redcliffe. Did I say how I know Arl Eamon exactly? I mean, I think you said he raised you. I hope this isn't something sordid. Uh, no. Why would you think that? Wait, don't answer that. Just let me finish. I'm a bastard. My mother was a serving girl at Redcliffe Castle, and she died when I was born. Our Lehman took me in and raised me before I was sent to the Chantry. The reason he did that was because, well, because my father was King Marek. Ah! Which made Kaelin my half brother, I suppose. So it is sorted. All right. Um. Doesn't that make you heir to the throne? So you're not just the best, you're a royal bastard. Ha! Yes, I guess it does at that. I should use that line more often. I, I would have told you, but... It never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaelin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. I don't get it, but, uh, can't believe you were supposed to- you still should have told- does Loghain know? Why wouldn't he? He was King Marek's best friend. I don't know if that means anything, though. I certainly never considered the idea that it might ever be oh. important. Al Eamon eventually married a young woman from Orlais, despite all the problems it caused with the king so soon after the war. He loved her a great deal. Anyway, the new Arlesa resented the rumors which pegged me as the Arl's bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Arl didn't care, but she did. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age 10. Just as well. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me.
Did she know the truth about you? Oh, then he said that. Sounds like shit. Maybe. She felt threatened by my presence. I can see that now. I can't say I blame her. She wondered if the rumors were true herself, I bet. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall. And it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Owl came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually, he just stopped coming. But you're heir to the throne now. Let's hope not. I'm the son of a commoner and a Grey Warden to boot. It was made very clear to me early on that there was no room for me raising any rebellions or such nonsense. And that's fine by me. No, if there's an heir to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Kaelin's uncle, and more importantly, very popular with the people. Though, if he's really as sick as we've heard... Oh, no, I, I, I don't want to think about that. I really don't. So there you have it. Now, can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Great Wardens. As you command, my prince. <laughs> Oh, lovely. I'm going to regret this. Somehow I just know it. <laughs> you will. Unfortunately, you will. All right. No! God damn it! What do you mean you disapprove? It was funny. In my defense, Your Honor, it was hilarious. Yes. Oh. Nothing, never mind. Hello. I thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? Um... Well... Uh, what do you mean? Is there a problem? So you... you don't know? Has nobody out there heard? It seems like no one ever knows what the fuck is going in Redcliffe. Not now and not in ten years. So, rip. We've heard that the, the Arl is sick. He could be dead for all we know. Nobody's heard from the castle in days. We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, I... I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother. He's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. Alistair is right there. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainosphere, brother to the Arl. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair. I like how it's the mud that it gets It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news. Still alive, yes. Though I'm just as surprised about that as you are, believe me. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. Nephew? I refer to Kaelin, of course. Oh, yeah. Mm. Our sister was Queen Rowan, King Merrick's wife and Kaelin's mother. Make her rest her soul. So you are a Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother, Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. 
We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. Um... I can help drive them back. How pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the Chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Hmm... I want to discuss mm, the situation with you. Of course. Uh, what are the things that are attacking the I village? I do not know. They seem to be walking corpses. Men with rotting flesh that continue to attack even with the gravest injuries. Undead? Spirits possessing the dead. There could be several causes behind such a thing. None of them pleasant. Mm -mm. Uh, so what happens after the battle's over? Hopefully we can find the source and stop it before it causes any more damage. With luck, we'll also find Eamon and be able to help him. Right. To get back to work. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. Alrighty. Wait, is this the same chantry? No one on DAI. Oh. Let us pray. Hello? Sorry. Am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. D -d -d don't. You're not bothering me. I shouldn't be such a crybaby. With mother gone now, I have to be brave. I just... I can't help myself. I'm so frightened. Those... Those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time. Oh boy. Everywhere. How terrible, you poor thing. I wish there was something we could do to help. And now my brother Bevan, he, oh, he ran crud. over. I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. All right, uh, have you tried? Uh, don't worry, we'll look for him. You will. Thank you so much. Please find him. I'm so scared, father. What are we going to do? Silence, girl. Do you want the children to hear you? But night is coming. The monsters will return and we sit... You're a Grey Warden, right? Were you in Ostagar? In the Kokari Wilds? I was. My husband and son went there to bring the chant of light to the chastened. Uh... But I haven't heard from them since. Are you Jedha? I am. You've heard of me? I have something from your husband. Oh? Oh, his lockbox. If you're bringing me this... Oh, no. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for bringing this to me. It means a lot, too. Make his blessings upon you. We have no choice. Yep. We must pray and hope for the Maker's compassion. Mother Hannah... You are of elven blood and a stranger, yet you defend a home that is not your own. We are grateful for that. I have my reasons to be here, be grateful. Is there a reason I shouldn't help? Can't stand by, will monsters attack... Uh, let's be... Petulant. Many elves claim we wouldn't do the same in return. I would like to think that is not true, uh, but I cannot speak for all. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this Chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. How awful this must be for you all. Is this everyone who's left? All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack. And I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? Um... I should go. May the Maker watch over you, child. I don't want another blessing. Alright, let's go. I'm scared, Mother. When oh. are the bad men coming? Soon, darling. Don't worry. Everything will be alright. Demonic possession. Good day. Father? Okay. Alright. Let's see. 
Militia, militia. Hello. Still no sign of them coming back from the castle, Murdoch. So Hello. you're the Grey Warden, are you? I heard they all died with the king. Could be a ghost, you never know. <laughs> huh. If it takes a ghost or two to kill a horde of evil monsters, I'll take it. <laughs> but you look plenty alive to me. We aren't gonna turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village, providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. Have fate. We'll defeat this evil together. I... I hope you're right. I've been trying to hold us together, but it isn't easy. Anyhow, you're here, and they tell me you're in charge. Um, how can I help? We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. All right. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate it. If he doesn't help, he'll die like the rest of us. What good will that do anyone then? Okay. I don't want to think about that. I guess this might be the last night of. This place is a lot more hilly than I remember it being. Right. Cavern. Let's start. Hello. Another doomed soul come to drown their sorrows here, I see. If you came here for a drink, you'd have to talk to Lloyd. He's got a vice grip on the spigots. I'm just here to keep the boys from mutiny. Do you know the elf in the corner? Not much. He's very quiet. Says his name's Beric and he's here to meet his brother, but I think he's lying. He's a bit creepy. Got it. How's business what been? What business? Without the castle soldiers, the only customers we have are local. And they're all in the militia with no money to spend. The few with any money are here, but it's not enough to justify working. Lloyd's a greasy pig. And if I didn't need this job so badly, I... Wow. I don't care for Lloyd, He gropes me and pays me next to nothing. I, I want him could dead. Be worse. Not like I've got many options. Head on a spike. Oh. You think I'm pretty, do you? I do. But I'll help you. If, if you wanted to. Anyone would. And that's really sweet of you. Thank you. I should go. Keep safe. <laughs> Hello, bitch. Hello there, friend. Can't say we've ever met before. Stranger to the village, I take it. Haven't had many travelers lately. All this nonsense is bad for business. Bet you regret coming, yes? Uh, not at all. Let's do business. Wait. Not at all. Brave words. Brave words. Well, we'll see when night falls, won't we? So, what'll it be? You are here to drink, I hope. I need some questions to answer. Fine. Make them quick. You know anything about the Elf Not much. Says his name's Berwick. Arrived here more than a week back. Waiting for his brother, he says. I've never seen him before, but he paid good for his room. Quiet sort. Right. We should talk about something. Something else I can get for you? I should go. Right then. Berwick? Not looking for company. Sure and seeing a fellow elf here. We have nothing in common. You're Dalish. Just wanted to chat. I'm not here to talk. There's something about this man's demeanor. I... Uh, I don't know. I have no idea what you're talking about. But you do, don't you? I know spy when I see one. Look, just because you're an elf doesn't mean we should be friends. I was just told to... I mean, just leave me alone. 
I'm not going anywhere. Start talking, bitch. About what? Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't mean you can go around threatening people. I didn't say I was a Grey Warden. It'd be easier if you tell me what you're hiding. If I... But I never... Oh, all right. I'll tell you. Just... Just don't hurt me. This is more than I bargained for. Look, they just paid me to watch the castle and send word if anything should change. But they never said anything about monsters. I haven't even been able to report anything since this started. I'm stuck, same as you, I swear. Who hired you? A tall fellow. I forget his name. He uh, Howl. said he was working for Hal. Arl Rendon Hal. He's an important man, Terran Logan's right hand. So I didn't do anything wrong. So you know how this happened. Tell me now. I don't know anything about these creatures. When the Arl got sick, I got scared that people would think I was involved. But I swear I don't know anything about it. They sent me to watch. Maybe they knew the Arl would get sick. I don't know. What are you supposed to watch the castle for? Just to report any changes. Honest. All I could send word about was the Arl getting sick. After that, monsters started coming from the castle. How do I know you're telling the truth? Here, this is a letter from them. It has instructions and everything. Keep it, do whatever you want with it. I just thought I was serving the king and making a bit of coin on the side. You have to believe me. <laughs> Tell him. <laughs> now you're going to die. Um, I think you should help defend Redcliffe. Oh, all right, I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. Hey, I'm not gonna be the one doing the killing. Anyways, um... Nothing upstairs. How do I help you, ma'am? Militiamen, militiamen. How, how do I help you? How, how do I help you? Yes? Lloyd's watered down swill hasn't made you leave yet, I see. How's business been? What business? Without the castle soldiers, yeah, yeah. The yeah. few with any money are here, but it's not enough to justify working. He gropes me and pays me next to nothing. But I suppose it could be worse. Not like I've got many options. No, no, that'll just make things worse. And that's very sweet, but I'll be fine. How about a raise then? I'd like that. And maybe we could talk after the battle tonight. If we're still here, that is. Ah, oh, shows you be in the Chantry. Later on, yes. Lloyd will lock himself in the cellar, and I'll go to the Chantry. Are you... fighting tonight? Yes, I am. That's... good to hear. I didn't know that. I should go. Am I flirting? I think you I'm safe. flirting on accident. She's very nice. Anyways. Hey, been a bit, been a bit. Wait, how long has it been since you sent that message? I'm not seeing it on the chat. One sec. Have I just not been paying attention to chat? Wait. Oh, shit. I hate it when this fucking thing does this. Hello, it's been a bit. It's been a good long bit, Tavar. But I think I haven't... <laughs> It's already four. Shit. God damn it. Let me finish talking to the random NPCs here. Uh, God, I'm going to be late for work tomorrow, aren't I? Okay. Uh, let's see here. World map. Smithy. Let's kick an old man down by his shins. Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. I mean... Miss Owen, I need to speak with oh? you. Who is that? What do you want? I've been through enough. I prefer not to speak through a door. Can I come in? Mm. All right, all right. Let me undo the locks. All I ask is that you don't make any trouble. Sure. Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. Somebody's been drinking. So I'll let you in. 
You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? Um, I'm a Grey Warden. A Grey Warden, is it? <laughs> it takes all kinds. Funny you didn't sound like an elf through the door. Can't say I expected that. Anyhow, my name's Owen, though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? I mean... Uh, the militia needs your help. Why should I help Murdoch when he won't help me? Hmm? My girl, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. Listen. I'll rescue your daughter. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. You can help us with that. If you look for Valena, I'll reopen the smithy and make some repairs for the militia. I can do that much. Please do. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing, and I didn't believe him either. You are asking a great deal, you More wretched again. little man. Not helping. I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. I promise I'll find her. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? Morgan! Right then. It seems I have some work to do relighting the forge, and I suppose I'll have to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well... Just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. Morgan! I really sure would bring her for talk like this. Okay. Caitlin home? Kate, Kate, Caitlin's home? What? Actually, let's get out. Let's get Morgan out for a second. Damnation. Blood and damnation. Interesting. Ah, what are you doing? All right, I'll come out. Hi, kid. Please, don't hurt me. I'll go back to the Chantry if you want. I didn't mean any harm. Right. Your sister's looking for you, you know. I just didn't want to be at the Chantry anymore. Everyone's scared, and I want to be brave. Sure. Go back to your sister, then. She's word sick. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Hmm. This should be easy enough. Can I unlock it now? Fuck. Shit. I want the fucking sword, man. Bruh. Bruh. Let's talk to the sister. Maybe she'll get me the sword then. Hello. Bevan said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. 
I'll take a kiss from a pretty girl. Just say safe. The Maker sent you. I just know it. Thank you again. Um, hello again. I Hold on. I have an idea. Found my sister. We're gonna do that again because I know we can get something out of this kid. We're gonna steal from a child, is what I'm saying. That's the intent. Alright, um... Uh, let's talk some shit into Owen first, because apparently I have to do that all over again. I will kick down your door, sir. Go away. Yeah, yeah. Curse you! Leave me in peace! Huh? Who is that? What? Mm? So I let you in? Anyhow, my name's Owen. Mm. My girl, Felena. Rescue your daughter. It'll do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you. I'll do my best. I want a promise. Promise. Uh. Ah! God, I need to stop doing that. Okay, hold on. We're doing this one more time. If we're, if we we're willing to go get a save just for a sword, I'm willing to not have Morgan get pissy at me. Out the door. Start. And then get Morgan oh, out of there. And then go away. Curse you. Huh? Who is that? Into the door. So I let you in. Anyhow, my name's. My girl, Felena. It'd do me the w I want to promise. If there we go. And then we go outside. Oh, that, 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 that. And then we'll find this child and steal a sword from him. Great game. Taking swords from a baby. Go back to the chantry if you want. I didn't mean any harm. Um, I'm not gonna hurt you. Go get lost. First, tell me what you were doing in there. I, I can't tell you. It's a secret. Are you sure? I could help you. You could. All right. I guess. I just. Father said I could have his sword when I grew up. It was grandfather's. And Grandfather was a great dragon slayer. Huh. I thought, if I was brave like Grandfather, I could use his sword and kill the bad people who took Mother. I mean, you had the right. You are indeed very brave. Thank you, sir. But the sword is too heavy for me. I guess I'm not as strong as someone like you. You'll grow up eventually. Don't worry about it. That doesn't help us now. Caitlin says, everyone's going to die tonight. Be brave. It's likely there's nothing you can do. Maybe so. Nothing's certain. Be brave. Yes, sir. Where's the sword now? In the chest. In Mother's room. Father gave me a key, but I'm not supposed to give it to anyone. Um... Uh... Perhaps I could help you and your sister in return. You could? Maybe you could... give my sister money? She said if we had money, we'd be all right. Even if Mother is dead. I'll talk to your sister about oh. it. Oh. All right. Here's the key. I hope you use it to kill a lot of those bad people. I should... go back to the Chantry. Good luck. Hey man, Dragon Slayer Blade. 
is a good thing to have. We'll just get permission because I'm not a dickhead. And then we'll just circle back here. Wee! Hello. Evan said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. <laughs> about the sword I found in your home. Evan told me about Grandfather's sword. So you have it then? I suppose it won't go to waste, at least. I promised Bevan I would pay you for it. I ha have no idea what it's worth, to be honest. And you found Bevan. I couldn't ask you for money. Valuable sword. Valuable sword, take a hundred. Th thank you! That's certainly a lot of coin. How can I ever repay you? Just stay safe. The Maker sent you. I just know it. Thank you again. Let's go! We got approval! I lost the gold. <laughs> hey, dude. A, a gold for a sword? I realized I should have picked it up earlier, but you know what? Let's... This should be easy enough. Mm -hmm. Let's go upstairs, get me a sword. Let's see here. Ooh, long sword. Okay. Can you use it? And the better question is, can you use it with a shield? Yes. There you go. There you go. All right. Okay. Well, I'm not going to do the next part because that's going to take a bit. So, let's see here. We'll stand right here. We'll save up. Okay. Right, 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 right. Um, let's go here. Let's end the game here. And quit. And then... Let's not close that. Alrighty. Ah, Tavo, you're still here. Sorry, I didn't catch your message earlier. Uh, um, if anyone's still here, just lurking. Um, I'm gonna do less weekday streams because I do want to get like content out of these streams. That's kind of why I overhauled the entire UI thing here. So yeah, um, I'll stream on the weekdays when I have time and when I feel like it. But there's definitely going to be weekend streams and streams on Friday, barring any sort of appointments I have. So yeah. Uh, thank y'all for coming. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know how to end streams. I, I really don't. Fucking hell. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know why my buttons aren't working. I don't know.